Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to quickly offset layers in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I have all these Ukramedia logos and they are scaling up like this. So what if I wanted to take all of them and offset them by three frames? How can I do this quickly without going manually, you know, like this, trying to offset them like that? That can take you a long, long time, especially if you have a lot of layers. Let me show you the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to undo everything and then I'm going to select all of my layers and then go to the beginning of my timeline and then hit page down three times like this. One, two, three. After that, I'm going to press Alt close square bracket to shorten all of my layers. So right now they are all three frames in length. Next, I'm going to right click and go to keyframe assistant and then click on the sequence layers. So when you do that, you'll have this pop up window and you have this option for overlap. And basically what it does, it gives you an option to fade each layer like to have some kind of fade in. So I'm going to undo that because I don't want this and then hit OK. And so now you can see that all of my layers have been offset by three frames. So obviously we have a little problem here because, you know, they're not very long. So it's only three frames. So I'm going to go to the end of my composition here. And while all of them are selected, I'm going to press Alt close square bracket again to extend everything to my time indicator, which is at the end of my composition. So now if I preview this, you can see that everything is working well. Now, let me show you how to control the offset order. I'm going to go to the beginning of my timeline, undo a few times again. So we're back at where we started. And this time I'm going to select my layers based on the order I want them to start. So for example, if I want this one to be first, I'm going to select that and then hold down control and then select the second one, the third one, and so on. So in other words, it's going to offset things based on my selection here. So whatever I select first, second, and third, that's how it's going to go down. So I'm going to keep going with this. Let's select some of these. Okay, so I think I got them all. And so now I'm going to right click again and go to keyframe assistant and then sequence layers. Again, I'm going to hit OK. And so now you can see that it offset things based on my selection. And again, I'm going to go to the end of my composition and do alt square bracket to extend everything to the end of my composition. And then I'm going to preview this. And now you can see it offset it based on my selection. I want to point out one more thing and I'm going to undo everything we just did. So Obviously, it offsets things based on the length of our layer. So if you want to have a different offset, for example, you want it to be three frames for this one and then, you know, five frames and so on, you can manually adjust the length of your offset for each layer. So like this, let's do something more extreme so you can see. So again, I'm going to select all of them and do right click keyframe assistant and then sequence layers. And now you can tell that it offset some things differently like this layer it offset it based on its length. So it's going to have different timing. So right now I'm going to go to the end of this composition, Alt close square bracket to extend everything. And now if I preview this, you can easily tell that the timing of some of them is not the same. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is Ukramedia.com.